a very warm welcome to coding techniques again today i'm going to teach you something very interesting which you are looking for that is related to dragging the marker or the map to change the position at the center so if you're dragging the marker the map will come to the center where the marker is stopped and the vice versa that means when you're moving the map the center position will change for the marker also so that's what we're going to achieve in this particular video so let's get started now here i have created a new project which you can see and i'm running annex serve here it is running properly now we need to again create a map again why i'm saying because we have already created in our previous video but if you do not know about the previous video you can simply click on the i button which is at the top right corner of yours and you will get to that particular video and understand each and everything i'm going to hurry up a little bit in this video for creating a map let's get started with that so in the home page i'm going to clear up everything let me change this to drag map marker the marker and i'll have drag map and marker will be better now let me remove this translucent and this content also everything within it all right so it is cleared now change the color of toolbar to be primary and remove everything from the scss once that is done well i'm going to create a service for google map and a component for our mapping one so let me create that one by one ionic g service I'll create a services folder within that a gmap service folder and within it we'll have the gmap service. Once that is created, I'll create another thing, ionic g component within our home page only. Okay. And I'm going to name it as map. All right. And remember one thing, I have created a standalone project. So you do you need to keep that in mind. All right, let me hit enter. And this two will be created now. Okay, that's great. Now let's work with that one by one. Now in the Gmap, I just need one function here, which is going to be load Google Maps. Okay, the functionality is already explained many times in the previous videos. The latest video, which was the last video, whose link is already there in the i button or in the description also, you can just check it out. So you can just understand from there itself. Okay, I'm just going to hurry up a little bit. Now this, is how we are going to load our Google Maps dynamically using the script where we will have this particular URL to be called in which the Google Maps API key I'm going to pass it in the environment one. So till now I have not passed it. So let me just pass it there in the environment one directly. I'll go using control plus P or command plus P for Mac. Let's go there and I'm going to pass what was the name actually. Let me just copy it and get back to the environment one i'm going to paste it and we'll have here your api key simply pass it okay now copy the same stuff and go to prod one and paste it there too so once that is done your problem will be solved okay now i have removed those two files now I just need to import this environment and we are good to go so it is imported and we don't see any more error here so this is done for the service now i simply need to jump to the map one so in the map component what i actually need to do let me just show you but before doing anything let me make it standalone because it is not standalone by default if you are using which one standalone one not the ng modules okay if you're using ng module then it's completely fine you don't need to do this stuff okay now in the home page typescript one i need to pass it here map component and import it once that is done I can directly call into my content app map. All right. So whatever I do now in the component will be reflected in our content of the home page. So at first I'm going to create a div here whose class I'm going to give it as map class with which we are going to work with and an identifier called map, which you will come to know how we are going to work with that. Okay. Then in the SCSS, I'm going to pass this particular styling here in order to give it the full width and height okay and make it visible only when this class called visible is called and we are going to call it when the map is loaded fully or the google map is loaded fully from our services one okay let's go to our typescript now where we actually need to work with all these things 
Now in this component, let me close it. I'm going to use on destroy also. You will come to know why I need that. Okay, so for using ng on destroy, we need this particular interface. Once that is done, what am I going to do? I'm going to have some properties here, which is going to be first for the view child because this is the identifier that we have given in our HTML. This is the one. Okay, by doing so, we can directly access this particular element ref and work with that. Once that is done, the problem is gone. Now you see there is one warning that has been given. You can fix that by giving a not symbol. And still, if it is not fixed, then I will go to the tsconfig file here and change this strict from to true to false. That's the only thing you need to do. For the time being, there is no more error after giving this not symbol. So I'm okay with that. I've given any source location. Then I passed a variable called map and some listeners here. Okay. Whether the map is dragging or not, that's what I'll be tracking with using this Boolean value. Similarly, I'll have a source marker also. Okay. So these are the properties which I'm going to use. Let's work with that. Now in the constructor, I need to inject two things. One is the map one, map service, and the other one is the renderer one, by which we can render the whole stuff to our div in the HTML one. So let me just do it in this particular manner. All right, I'm importing both the stuff. Both of them are imported, right? And we are good to go to work with that. Now I'm going to create a function here called load map, which I've just directly pass the whole functionality and I'm going to explain you one by one what exactly I'm doing. At first I'm loading the Google map here from our services and this is how we are getting the element ref for our map one by which we can access the map. Okay and means whatever changes we are doing we can just pass it there. Then this is how we are preparing the map where I have passed the center as let and long which we have passed it here okay for the source one and then I have disabled all the default UI. If you want, you can set it to false. It will show the default UI like zooming and stuff. Then zoom, I have given 13. You can change it as per your requirement. Then a source icon URL I have just given. You can pass this one also. That is why I have just commented it. But if you want to pass it from the assets one, I already have it in my assets folder. Let me just show you. This is the one. This is the icon that I have or the image. So that is what I have passed here. And then the source position. So the source line and long, I have passed it here and preparing the proper position in let and long. Then this is what we are going to pass. Now we need to prepare the proper icon because this is just a URL for the icon, right? In order to prepare the icon, this is how we need to do that, which will be the scale size, how much it's going to be, which is the URL, the origin point and the anchor where exactly we need to place it. So this is done. Now after that, the marker will be prepared where the map will be called that will be passed from this particular one. Okay, in the map, the position will be the source position which we have taken it here. And then draggable, you need to set it to true. Otherwise, the marker will not be able to drag. Okay, remember that. Then the animation I've given a drop animation, you can change it if you want. All right, and the icon is the source icon that we have passed here. So this is how we have prepared the marker. Don't worry, you will be able to see just now how it shows. And finally, the marker will be set using the set map function where I'm passing it into the map one. Okay, this is how we need to do that. And placing the center position to be the source position. This is how we do that. And finally, I'm calling the class called visible. So remember, visible class will be called, then only the map will show up. Otherwise, the map will not show. That is what we have done so far. That is why opacity is being passed into the SCSS here, right? Let's get back to our TypeScript one. Now, in order to show this map into our view, there are two ways. One, we can directly pass it in ng on it, but I'm going to pass it in ng after view in it because after the proper view is visible, then only I want to call this particular function. Because there is certain delay sometimes, so I don't want to get into any kind of a trouble. That is why I'm passing it here. Sometimes if you think that you need to pass it in ng or in, it's going to work in there. Okay. So ng after view init and you don't need to import any class. Earlier we used to have after view init here, but I don't think that is required nowadays. 
if it doesn't work then you can definitely call the interface after you in it here after passing a comma just like we did for on destroy okay now i'm going to call this load map function here let's see now what happens all right the map is getting loaded and the pointer is being placed here that's great it is showing up nicely now if i just drag this particular one let's see whether it gets dragged or not we are able to drag it right and what about the map we are able to map, drag the map also so both of them are draggable but the point is when you're dragging it we want to center the location every time for the marker also for the map also that is what we are going to achieve right now now in order to do that we are going to use this event listener here okay so i'm going to enable it don't worry i'm going to create it right now so let me just paste it even i'm going to update the ng on destroy also so i'm just replacing the whole code here okay you can see ng on destroy two more functions along with the event listener one all right so let me just give it off type fine the error is gone now don't worry i'm going to explain you everything one by one so let's start from this particular listener here now we want to listen to google map along with the marker one right now for listening to google map this is the event that we are going to trigger add listener okay where we are going to listen to drag start of the map one remember that and similarly we are going to listen for the drag end okay don't focus on the functionality right now just focus on, on the listener what exactly we are going to do there is one more listener here for the google map that is center change so whenever the center is getting changed that means you are dragging it up the center is getting changed it's going to trigger every time okay so if you want that kind of a stuff definitely you can do it here now similarly for our marker one we are just going to use the same add listener but we are going to pass source marker instead of the map one and the event name will be the same drag start and drag end okay so that's what we are going to do so this dragging one will help us to achieve the one that we need okay whenever this listener is activated at that point of time we are going to do certain functionality and achieve the ones that we need all right now i have just commented this listener for center change we don't need that now in the drag listener first of all just before starting with the functionality let me just tell you one more thing for every listener that i am using here i am just initializing it to an event okay which are defined it at the top this whole listeners are there center change is not needed other than that we need all the listeners and once these listeners are there initialized we are going to destroy it one by one in ng on destroy in this particular manner if you don't want to do it in that particular manner you can simply use google map events dot clear instances for map and the source marker it's going to go away so both ways you can try but i think this is a easier option where you can understand okay which things you are just getting rid of okay you have more control over it so i hope the ng on destroy is pretty clear to you let's remove it all right so now let's jump into the functionality one so as soon as i'm going to start dragging the map what am i going to do i'm going to set map draggable to true now this is just a boolean value if you don't want to pass it definitely you can skip this up all right because i don't think we are using it anywhere when the drag end we are just setting it to false again so that's completely fine and the main purpose of doing this is to so you are setting dragging map dragging to false but this is not used anywhere i think apart from this all right so it is not used anywhere else you can simply skip that i was just trying it with center change but it was not not of any use you can just remove it in this particular manner i'll just get rid of it all right any error all right done so now as soon as you drag to the end that means you stop at that point of time i'm going to move marker to center that's a function that i'm going to call well this is a function in which i'm getting the center using this particular get center function of the map then passing the position to the marker position means the constant that i have created to get the line and long and then simply setting the position of the marker there that's it so if i just try to drag it and i'm going to show you the logs also let's try it so i'm going to drag the map here okay and i'm dragging 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 if i stop you can see line and long is showing up and 
it is centered once again that is how it's been done so dragging the map is working and we are able to change the marker also it's time to do the vice versa and in order to do that well we will be using these two stuff so when we are able to start the dragging for our marker at that point of time we need to take care of the map not moving that is why we are setting the option for our maps to draggable to be false this is very much unique. if we don't do that the map can also move right you're moving it up that's why it's important and once the dragging is stopped we are again making the map to be draggable and moving the map to center where the marker is right using this function which is defined here where i'm getting the position of the source marker here okay and just setting it into our map using the set center function that's the only thing you need now if i just try it let me just move this marker to let's say this this location and you see the map has moved to the center means to that particular marker position and making it a center right now there is one thing that is left you can see this marker is not at the center now if i remove this origin and anchor i'll just comment it you will see that this is now at the center okay so you don't need to pass this origin and anchor make sure you don't give that i hope it's clear so this is the only thing which we need to change here now we are good to go so i hope you have understood how to move the marker to the center or the map to the marker position means you can drag both of them and walk around with it pretty nicely so how smooth it was right i hope you enjoyed this particular video but before that if you haven't checked my courses do check that out links are there in the description offers are going on and if you're new here make sure you subscribe to the channel and share with your friends so i'm going to sign off today thanks for watching bye